Hello everybody and welcome to the Media Center. Today I have a special guest. What is your name? Molly. And Molly, what is the book we're going to read today? How do dinosaurs count to 10? Well, first we're going to read the book and then we're going to draw a special picture about the book. So let's get started. How do dinosaurs count to 10? By Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. Dinosaur counting starts with one. One tattered teddy bear, just for fun. Two big balloons tied to the bed. Three toy trucks painted blue, green and red. Four balls that bounce. Five big letter blocks. And under the bed, six dirty socks. A track, an engine and seven cars. An easel with eight full paint jars. Nine pictures hanging on the wall. Ten books to read. And that is all. Now that he's counted from one to ten, how does a dinosaur count again? again. So that was a really fun story and now I'm going to draw a picture about the story and Grace is here with me so Grace what do you think about this picture so far? I think it's pretty good. Uh, it, uh, so far it is. Now if you were to draw a dinosaur what kind of stuff would you use to do your drawing? I would probably use paper and pencil. Right. And in this one, I'm using a dry erase board and marker. So you can use whatever you want for your drawing. Now, Grace, what's your favorite kind of stuff to draw? Uh, mine is probably dogs and cats. Excellent. Have you ever drawn a dinosaur before? Yes. Cool. So in this drawing, once it's done, what do we have to do next, Grace? What do you think we're going to do when we're done? We're going to publish it to the wall. Yeah, we're going to publish our drawing. So to publish the drawing, first, what do we need to do? We need to get a photo. Yeah, a photo. So we're just going to open up the camera app here and hold the iPad up nice and high and then take a photograph. So Grace, after you take a photograph, what is something you can do next before you publish? You can, um, you can make sure it goes like crop it. You can crop it. Right. Exactly. And to crop it, first you have to press edit. Now, what does crop mean, Grace? Do you it think? means to like edit, but like to move like it in so you don't see the rest. Exactly. So you just cut away the bits you don't want. And here, when you're done, press done. I did also change some of the filters and some of the effects. But next, we have to go to the internet. And here we're going to click on the rocket ship. Grace, what is the password? The new Why? password. Zero, 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 zero. Good job. And that takes you to the remote learning site. Now, if you want to make this easier, I would suggest click this little arrow that comes out of the box and then it takes you to the full screen wall. Tap, tap, touch the arrow pointing up to upload. Then pick your file from the photo library. Here is my image and my image is ready. I'm just going to press done and then your image starts to upload. Now, if you're going to write something, what are some things you should write when you publish something, Grace, do you think? You should write uh, the title and your name and like a story based on the thing. Sure. And if you don't want to write a story, you can just maybe write um, just a little description or tell me something about your drawing. So I'm going back to this remote learning website and let's see if my work is published. Yes, it is. It is right here. 
So thank you for uh, watching the video today and I hope you draw a picture and I hope you get a chance to publish it. See you next time. Bye.